Hello guys and welcome back. I fixed the audio issues, or at least I should, so you guys should actually be able to hear me now. And we're continuing our quest with uh, Raj Rajai Mayal, our Khajiiti skooma chemist. Also, uh, there's a pretty cool Let's Play channel you guys should check out. Uh, his name is NPC Killer, and I'll go ahead and leave the link to his channel in this, uh, the description. Or do one of those fancy annotation things. Uh, actually, they're not really all that fancy, just the annotation links. I might do that. Although I'm lazy, so I'll probably just throw it in the description. And now we're... Um, Rajai has a, a few problems that she's faced with. I mean, she's starting to make some money, but she still doesn't really have a whole lot to do. She just woke up, so she's going to go ahead and get a bite to eat. She figures she'll start the the trade now, but she, in the future, she's going to need to set some goals. Because just living... Living randomly is not really going to get her very far. And Rajai is not a smart, or not a dumb girl. She's she's pretty smart, despite going to jail. That was just a bad choice. She doesn't even fully remember what she was in there for, to be honest. It had been so long. You guys might hear the mic kicking in and out. I'm going to shut my fan off. Uh, I have a little bit of a sore throat, so on occasion, if I have to cough, I'm going to mute it for you guys. That way I don't, you know, cough in your ears or your speakers and any of that jazz. Or blues or funk, whatever that is. I'd say funk. Coughing in someone's ears is kind of funky. So Rajai decides she's gonna try this uh, Nalkaria of White Haven again, see if she can strike a deal that's a little bit more cost effective for her. She does notice that this lady does have some better alchemy gear as well. So she might be able to replace her novice port, uh, mortar and pestle or her apprentice's um, calcinator. A journeyman calcinator would be quite nice. So she decides to trade. Unfortunately, she does not have enough for the journeyman's mortar and pestle. And she's starting to see how nice her parents were to give her her first uh, skooma set when she was still a kitten. Since she upgraded her equipment, that put a serious damper on the amount of money she had available for her business. But she looks at it as an investment. Rajai likes Ajira. It's 
It's one of the few Khajiit she's seen, if not the only Khajiit she's seen since she was uh, whisked away from the Imperial City. Although, despite liking Ojira, she is trying to start a business, so she has to be a little bit cheap on gathering ingredients. She figures this is still a good business opportunity for Ojira. She keeps back one of the potions in case she gets hungry and decides to haggle a little bit steeper. Figures this is a good opportunity to try to make Azira a little more money. Let's give her some donations, help with her business. She feels she is learning quite a bit from this trade. Her potions are starting to improve and she decides to give herself a snack. 
And she haggles for 420. She's not trying to rip Ajira off. Ajira is her friend. Rajai decides to call it a night. It's almost two in the morning. She's been at this alchemy all day. Her eyes have finally adjusted to the outside world and her time spent in the Imperial prison allows her to see a little better than most might. Her cat blood doesn't hurt either. She has to figure out a place where she can sleep without being interrupted though. She doesn't like being attacked. She finds this guy and decides she can look in to herself and achieve Kaim and change the world around her. Years of working in the skooma trade has allowed her or equipped her to, to handle complex or hard to perceive issues such as Godhead and that of Kaim. She does not have the same capabilities as uh, Lord Vivek might, but she is able to bend space time a little bit. She promises to use these powers for good. She wakes up really early and she's ready to get her day started. She does feel though she needs to find a permanent place of like residence, a place she can call home, but she doesn't know anywhere nearby that she can go. Being not from this land, she is literally an outlander. As the uh, mage guild lady just said, I am an, an outla outlander. I'm going to continue to do this trade.
She decides to make a couple of potions. She's a bit hungry. At least some breakfast for now. Oh, I've been muted this whole time. I wonder how long that's been. Uh, anyways, Rajai decided she needs she needs to get some uh, some clothes. She's not afraid of her birth fur. Well, I'm probably going to call it for now. I'm actually going to get back later. I'm a little bit hungry, guys. She's going to get a belt. And some gloves. That's all she needs, just to be sophisticated. <laughs> 